Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mm. Baba ni asante kwa neno lako. Ninakushukuru kwa maana siku zote wewe ni mwema Bwana. Tukufananishe na nani? Tukulinganishe na nani Yesu? Yesu tunaomba kusikia kutoka kwa Tunaomba kusikia kutoka kwa Bwana. Tunaomba kusikia kutoka kwa kwa Yesu. Tunaomba kupokea kutoka kwa kwa Bwana. Tunaomba baba mawazo yetu yakatawaliwe na wewe. Tunaomba ya kwamba roho zetu baba zikatawaliwe na wewe. Tunaomba ya kwamba miili yetu baba ikawe dhabihu Jehova inayokubalika mbele zako. Tusamee dhambi na makosa Bwana. Tutakaze kwa damu yako ya dhamana Yesu. Ulio mwaga msalabani kwa ajili yetu Bwana. Na tunapoenda kusikia baba, tunakataa vitu vyote ambavyo vinazuia sisi kusikia kutoka Bwana. Yesu leo hii katika jina la Yesu Kristo, nguvu zote za giza hazina mamlaka mahala hapa. Falme zingine zote za giza hazina mamlaka mahala hapa. Yesu tunaliinua jina lako. Tunaliinua neno lako mahala hapa. Na Yesu tunaomba ya kwamba tukatawaliwe na kuzungumziwa na wewe tu utukufu ukurudie. Ni katika jina safi la Kristo Yesu nimeomba na kuamini. Amen. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kulikuwa na wimbo ilikuwa inaimbwa He came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross my debt to pay from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky Lord I lift your name on high Wana Yesu was feared Jesus came and did his part Wana Yesu was feared and he did it excellently hakuna dosari hata kidogo wewe ilikuwa kwa purpose yake duniani haleluya he did it excellently bwana yesu asifiwe and towards the tail end of his mission on earth bwana yesu asifiwe akawa asha train lieutenants haleluya ambao wange take over from him but these lieutenants walikuwa lacking in some way because walikuwa wanajua neno walikuwa wamefundishwa neno lakini walikuwa wanategemea nani aliyowafundisha nini neno bila ya yeye ikawa ni kwamba they they somewhat wanakuwa wanachanganyikiwa that is why in everything walikuwa nakaa tu karibu na Yesu walikuwa wanajua hata kama ni muujiza ni nani atafanya Yesu bwana Yesu asifiwe and Jesus realized that it was time to tell them of the key that will be used by them after his departure bwana yesu asifiwe if you read zechariah 4 and verse 6 it says it is not by power nor by might but by my spirit says the lord so The Bible says ya kwamba Mungu ni Alpha na pia ndi, ndiye Omega. Kumbe roho wa Mungu tu yule yule ambaye alizungumziwa wakati wa Zekaraya. Haleluya. Ndiye roho huyu huyu ambaye Yesu alizungumza wakati wa Yohana 16 akikaribia kuondoka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the living God. Amen. You need as a Christian to know, to know your God. You need to know the Father. You need to know Jesus. You need to know the Spirit. Praise the living God. Roho wa Mungu. This is the dispensation ya roho ya wa Mungu kufanya kazi. Praise the living God. But sisi wa Kristo sisi ambao tumeitwa wana wa Mungu. Most of us are in this stage ambayo wanafunzi wa Yesu walikuwa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Awaje fika kwa ile stage ya kupokea nini? Roho. Haleluya. They are still at the stage ya kwenda kwa master kila wakati. Yes. Yes. Haleluya. Hawako kwa ile stage ambayo Yesu alitaka wawe. Ya kumpokea nini? Yes. Eh, ro. The Bible says this spirit when he is come upon you, you will receive power. You will receive comfort. You will receive instruction. Haleluya. Praise the living God. Amen. So it basically means 
as a Christian. You need the spirit of God. As a Christian, you need the spirit of God. You need to be filled by the spirit of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Juzi juzi nikawa it was a very clear sky. Very clear sky. Na tukawa around 37,000 feet above the sea level. So mimi nikasema tuacha nichungulie chini, niangalie kuna ka pepe. Very clear sky. And I am telling you kazi ambayo Mungu alifanya kwa siku sita. Haleluya. Na wewe unachanganyikiwa kimaisha because umekataa kumtegemea yule ambaye hii kazi yote mimi niliangalia chini use all the mountains greenery mali pengine unaona ni kama vale vingine kumeinuka. Haleluya. Very clearly sasa unajua it was a clear sky. And I just told myself that the creator of this just spoke and the spirits got into action. Hallelujah. He just spoke a word. And the spirit which is the power inside of him went to work. Because pale mwanzo neno linasema and the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Haikuwa imepewa kazi, lakini ilipopewa kazi ya kwamba anaifanyike ilifanyika. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And that same spirit Yo Yesu anasema wakati roho huyo atakuja ndani mwako praise the living god Amen. you shall receive power you shall receive direction you shall receive comfort hallelujah ndio unaona pale zekaraya akasema it is not by might nor by power but by the spirit of god do you know kwa nini alisema it is not by power when in real sense the spirit of god is the power of god it is because power in, in, in itself cannot define the power of God. That is why we, we say all powerful. We don't say God is powerful. We say God is all powerful. Because we have so many types of power. But all one solid power, which is the power of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the living God. Amen. But now, this comforter, this spirit of God, what are the formulas of receiving the spirit of God? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The Bible says, and the disciples went to the upper room. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Walienda katika chumba cha chu. Wakafanya nini? wakajifungia Na walipojifungia kwa chumba cha juu there was nothing no other business The business that was done in the upper room was one business calling unto the name of the Lord most high Bwana Yesu asifiwe That was the only business walienda kufanya kwa chumba cha Hallelujah. And heaven remembered the promise. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Heaven remembered the promise that walikuwa wamefanya kwa ajili ya the disciples. Ya kwamba when Jesus is gone and these disciples connect with the heavens a comforter will be sent. Power will be sent. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Nilipoingia leo hapa asubuhi nikasikia wimbo the worship together with the prayers that we made earlier today and I remembered this word and my spirit told me why is it that Christians ndio wanalalamika sana Bwana Yesu asifiwe mbona ni wakristo ndio wanalalamika sana Unapata mtu anasema maisha imekuwa ngumu lakini anaitwa John 
Unapata mtu anasema maisha imenichanganya, anaitwa Mika. Unapata mtu anasema e, 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 hii mguu yangu imenisumbua miaka kumi na anaitwa Abraham. Unapata mtu anasema hii macho yangu ilifika tu mahali ikakataa kufanya nini? Kutizama. Na huyo sasa anaitwa nini? Elijah. Why is it that Christians ambao sisi Mungu ametuambia ya kwamba sisi ndio chumvi ya dunia we are the ones who are supposed to show the world the way ya kwamba it is possible to get healed without visiting a hospital it is possible for someone ambaye alikuwa amechanganyikiwa kuinuka tena why is it that it is not happening back to the basics tulisahau nini foundation and when the foundation is shaken the righteous perish praise the living god you cannot mix science and god it is good to know science it is good to know economics it is good to know worldly to have worldly knowledge but it is not in any way it is not i repeat it is not in any way a substitute for the word of god hallelujah it is not the word of god says and when it is expedient for me to go why because once i go nikiondoka ndio mtampata nani msaidizi hallelujah so jesus was actually telling people ni vema niondoke sababu i have accomplished my part ile nimebakia ni ya msalaba niende nianikwe pale ni mwage damu then the rest it is upon you Yesu alifanya nini part yake akamaliza so it is you to ask Jesus for the spirit then you do your bit hallelujah kuna chinese uh, saying inasema no pain no no gain hallelujah biguni kwa baba Tunaambiwa kuna matunda, si ndio? Kuna kuna asari. Tunaambiwa kuna all sorts of good things. Lakini let me tell you the truth. We are going to heaven. When time comes to go to heaven. But at the moment we are on planet earth. So get the formula of living on planet earth. As you walk your way to go to heaven. Haleluya. And the formula ya kuishi duniani sasa ni roho wa Mungu. Praise the living God. Amen. For you to understand this book and the secrets thereof you need the spirit of God. Praise the living God. Amen. I pray that one time mtumishi wa Mungu Apostle Just do an impartation. Just do an impartation on on all of us. What we are to do. Hallelujah. Because for you to understand the word of God, for you to live on this planet, this dark age comfortably, wakati watu wanalia wewe hauli, you need the spirit of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati you don't have anything in your pockets, you still know that God is in control you need the spirit of god praise the living god because it is not by your money it is not because of your job it is not because of your health but it is because of the spirit of god that you are hallelujah it is because of the word of god that you are what you are hallelujah so you need to know roho wa mungu kazi yake sasa ni nini katika ulimwengu huu ambao umejaa giza praise the living god what is is it? and you know the spirit of god is nimpole hallelujah nimpole sana he does not get crushed into your life but he is very very powerful where the spirit of god is the devil cannot get crushed in there. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. A 
as polite as he is akisha ingia ndani mwako shetani anajua sasa hapa this is a touch not but when wewe ni debe tu wewe ni samson shetani atafanya nawe jinsi anavyo praise the living god you can remember wanafunzi wa Mungu walikuwa wamejazwa roho unarushwa kwa mafuta mafuta wewe sasa hivi ukitupwa kwa mafuta eh, eh, upate 100% bumps hata hauta pale kwa Kenyatta mambo yako itaishia wapi lakini walichamushwa lakini because alikuwa na roho wa Mungu hata katikati ya mafuta kuchamushwa it was not possible for this uh, disciple to die hallelujah he could only die when god decides after so wewe unapojazwa na roho wa mungu bwana yesu asifiwe you will live on earth according to god's will bwana yesu asifiwe ukijazwa na roho wa mungu maisha ni mwa utaishi jinsi mungu anavyotaka sio jinsi wanadamu wata dictate kwa ajili yako bwana yesu asifiwe there is a man of god who said about witches bwana yesu asifiwe witches train their kids wakiwa wadogo uchawi secrets of witch witchcraft nguvu za giza wana trainiwa wakiwa ni wadogo So you find a witch who is 8 years old bewitching a Christian who is 60 years old. Sijui kama tunaelewana. Mchawi wa miaka ngapi? 8. Anaroga Mkristo wa miaka 60. Na Mkristo anarogeka kabisa. The secret is huyu anajua siri zake za giza. Huyu mwingine hajui siri zake za mwanga. Praise the living God. So the secret is not how long you've been no? in Kisima Embakasi. The secret is are you willing to receive the truth in Embakasi today? Are you willing to start going by the truth? in kisima embakasi starting today that is the secret bwana yesu asifiwe wakati mtumishi wa mungu anahubiri hapa is it to you instruction is it to you a teaching or is it noise or ni kawaida i just go to church because i have to go to church praise the living god bwana yesu asifiwe the bible says <coughs> ya kwamba For we do not fight against flesh and blood our warfare is not against flesh and blood but against principalities against the rulers of this dark age when i was a few and if you look at uh, john 11 in a semani 1611 Nasema of judgment because the prince of this world is already judged. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Shetani tayari alishahukumiwa. Haleluya. Ye hukumu yake ilishafanya nini? Ilishatolewa. He knows where he is headed to. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And Satan is a spirit and he knows where he is headed to. But sasa hii amepewa ka freedom kidogo. Praise the living God. And you are a soul, flesh and spirit. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Your body is your license to be on earth. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hii mwili uko nayo ndio certificate yako ya kuwa wapi duniani. So you are here not by default. You are here by right. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So wewe uko na haki ya kuwa duniani wakati unapumua na hii mwili yako uko na haki. Every 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 every, every uh, promise that 
that is written in the Bible is directed to a living soul with a body. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So everything yenye Mungu amesema hapa ya kwamba atakubariki wiki hapo na uondoka hapo it is real but it is only real to those who will follow the precepts. But in this dark age you cannot do it on your own. In this dark age you cannot do it on your own. That is why leo ninataka ujue bro wa Mungu is your friend is the only friend you can have at the moment. And if you make the spirit of God your friend and partner in everything that you do according to the promise of Christ. Ya kwamba yes ninaondoka lakini si waachi kama mayatima. Na watumia nini? Nguvu. Na watumia comforter. Na watumia instructor. Na watumia mwalimu. Haleluya. Everything that Christ was is in the spirit of God. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So once you receive this spirit you will be Christ like. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Utatembea kulingana na mapenzi ya nani? Ya Kristo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. But tukaambiwa roho wa Mungu naye na dhambi. Hallelujah. Aweni? Aweni pamoja. Si ni vizuri tuambiane ukweli. Where sin is, the spirit of God is not there. Hallelujah. So ili roho wa Mungu aingie ndani mwako. Toka kwa lower chambers, ingia kwa upper room. Kama ulikuwa unaomba dakika moja, jaribu uende dakika kama ulikuwa una una una, una tubu mara moja kwa mwezi tubu kila siku haleluya kama ulikuwa we kanisani unakuja because others are coming kuja because you know you need to bwana yesu asifiwe and once you get the spirit of god there is one thing ambayo mimi personally niligundua kitu inaitwa fear disappears fear disappears Ukiona bado unakauoga kitu ikitokea unakuwa na uoga uoga Baka hata unakimbia up and down nini nini know that there is something that is amiss Bwana Yesu asifiwe But roho wa Mungu atakaposhuka ndani mwako You will have some peace that surpasses human understanding Tuinuke kwa miguu yetu na kuna kazi nyingine ambayo itafanya lakini ninaitisha msaada wa baba wangu wa kiroho Bwana Yesu because we cannot live today like we live yesterday we cannot worship today like we worshiped yesterday because Biblia inasema they go from strength to strength every time they appear before God in Zion Bwana Yesu asifiwe So you are not supposed to mtoto ukimzaa Bwana Yesu asifiwe kila siku ana grow ama namna gani hata akiwa na ile inaitoka standard eh, eh, growth miaka yake bado inahesabika tu hata akikataa kusonga juu hautaendelea kusema ni mtoto anaendelea kuwa Bwana Yesu asifiwe so akikataa ku grow unajua kuna shida hapa you will seek medical attention Bwana Yesu asifiwe So if you are you, you ume, ume, umejipata kanisani miaka inaenda tano Bwana Yesu asifiwe and there are things that are still complicated to you as regards spirituality it is time to ask the spirit of God to come into your life Bwana Yesu asifiwe Hallelujah Hakuna Mungu kama wewe hakuna Mungu kama wewe hakuna Mungu kama wewe ewe Mungu hakuna Mungu kama wewe hakuna Mungu kama wewe hakuna Mungu kama
Baba ni asante. Asante kwa neno lako. Asante kwa uaminifu wako Jehovah. Masia tunalibariki na kulinua jina lako. Tunajua si kwa It is not by might nor by power, but it is by your spirit, Jehovah. This morning, Jehovah, we surrender totally to your spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, we repent of our sins. We repent, O oh Lord, of all our sins, Jehovah. All our transgressions, transgressions, Jehovah. King of kings, our omissions, King of kings, we ask that you forgive us. We ask that you cleanse us, Jehovah. You did it on the cross, Jesus. And you said it is finished, Jehovah. Whatever it is that the devil is using, O oh Lord, as a legal ground to attack us, whatever it is, O oh Lord, that the devil is using, O oh Lord, as an entry point, today, Jehovah, we surrender to you, Jehovah. We just say that, O oh Lord, it is only you, Jehovah. It is by your blood, Jehovah, that you shed in Calvary, O oh Lord, for our sins, Jehovah. We ask that, Jehovah, you cleanse us. Jesus, have mercy on 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 us. Have mercy on us, Jesus. Cleanse your church, Jehovah. Cleanse your church, Jehovah. Baba, tunawamba watu wakainuke kutoka viwango walivyo buwana wakaende viwango vingine bwana tunakataa utoto wa kiroho tunakataa utoto wa kiroho tunakataa utoto wa kiroho katika jina takatifu la Yesu Kristo na leo hii baba we decree that people will start growing in Christ Jesus that kutoka leo bwana watu wanaenda viwango vingine kutoka leo bwana tunakuabudu kwa kiwango kingine kutoka leo bwana tutaanza kukutafuta kwa kiwango kingine jeu baba unasema wa, mahali watu wawili watatu wanakusanyika kwa jina lako uko kati kati yao bwana leo hii katika jina la Yesu Kristo tuna imani ya kwamba roho wako yuko mahali hapa tuna imani ya kwamba malaika wako wako mahali hapa bwana tuna imani ya kwamba huu mahala hapa leo hii bwana sawa sawa na maandiko yako kwa hiyo leo hii baba Mahali wewe upo baba kuna uponyaji. Mahali wewe upo baba kuna kukuwekwa huru. Mahali upo Bwana kuna kukombolewa. Tunakataa vifungo vyote mahali hapa. Tunakataa vifungo vyote mahali hapa. Vifungo vya uzingizi tunakataa. Vifungo vya umaskini tunakataa. Baba damu ya ukoo ambaye inakandamiza wana wako. Leo hii katika jina takatifu la Yesu Kristo, we ask for your blood on oh Blood that cleanses and speaks better things than that of all on earth. Jehovah we worship you. We glorify your name. Baba ni nani kama wewe? Ukisema baba ya kwamba amebarikiwa nani wa kusema huyu amelani? Ukiinua Bwana nani wa kushusha? Jehovah neno lako likisema ya kwamba tumebarikiwa mjini. Nani anasema ya kwamba tumelaaniwa mjini? Leo hii tuko mjini Nairobi. Na neno lako linasema ya kwamba tutabarikiwa mjini na mashambani. Na sababu tuko katika mji wa Nairobi Bwana. Chochote ambacho kinatuzuia kubarikiwa mahala hapa. Baba ni kama ni dhambi zetu tunatubu Bwana. Yesu iwapo ni dhambi ya mababu zetu Bwana, baba zetu, wajomba, shangazi, Yesu tunatubu. Na leo hii katika jina takatifu la Yesu Kristo. We decree blessings for each one of us. We decree blessings O Lord. Nairobi hii Bwana itatukubali. Nairobi hii baba tutajenga. Nairobi hii baba tutanunua na tutauza. Nairobi hii baba when people will be laughing we will be laughing too. When people will be celebrating we will be celebrating too. Tunakataa Jehovah kuwa kawaida na tunaomba tukatembee sawa sawa na mapenzi yako Bwana. Yesu ni asante kwa kikao cha kanisa ya leo Bwana. Tunaomba roho yako akatuongoze hadi tamati. Na utukufu ukurudie wewe Bwana. Yote yote ni katika jina takatifu la Kristo Yesu tumeomba na kushukuru. Amen. Amen. Ukikosa, and the Bible says Yesu akasema na pepo nikifukuzwa ndani ya mtu, ninaenda kukaa wapi changwani? Na ninaangalia nyuma, ninaona kwamba kile nyumba 
ambaye ilipukuswa hakuna mtu amerudia the manager when you have received grace in your life you need now invite the holy spirit akae ndani mwako praise the living god ah, you have touched things that i was coming to preach i don't know sometimes yani umekuja ukaingia kwa vitu ambavyo nilikuwa nakuja kuvisema and i thank god because of this altar sometimes the raw mungu huwa na manifest amen, amen. ukikosa roho wa mungu ndani mwako wewe ni kama empty tepe amen so chochote kinaweza ingia na kinaweza pandwa yo naona watu walikimbia juzi kwenda kusimama kwa laini wapewe 1500 ni maandiko kwa sababu hawajui maana walisema na hiyo chapa itakuwa wapi kwa nyuso zao hapa na wanasema macho ni taa ya nini ya mwili sasa macho ikienda <sighs> haleluya macho yako ndio taa ya mwili ah i'm coming there praise the living god
usiulizia wa kuulizia tu mahali bora hata kama ni kadogo why do you want to run the same enemy aliyekufunga kamba amekufuata akuharibie penye huko na anaweza kukuharibia kabisa but today god is so gracious hiyo kamba inakatika kwa jina la Yesu hautaishi maisha ya mateso kila ambacho kilitangulia kwa maisha yako walio sema huyu hata akipata azikuwe na amani hata akipata isikuwe na furaha katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu baba leo hii sijui huyu mama amekanyaga hapa nami naitisha moto wako kila machungwa amepitia kila mateso amepitia kila kamba aliyofungwa chochote waliochukua kwake chochote ambacho bwana wamekuconnect wakasema ateseke na mitomo iliyomfuata katika jina la Yesu inaitisha moto katika jina la Yesu waliomfuata na uchawi waliomfuata na miungu waliomfuata na midomo kila mitomo iliyonena kinyo waliosema ataike waliosema atamute na asipate chochote katika jina la Yesu hiyo kamba ikatike hiyo kamba ya uchawi ikatike hiyo kamba ya laana ikatike hiyo kamba ya miungu ikatike hiyo kamba ya mapepo ikatike katika jina la Yesu kila uchawi kondoke kila maneno ya laana kondoke katika jina la Yesu hiyo kamba ya mujiza wale ga I break every altar sir na disconnect jina lako mahali niliwekwa majina yako inapotachwa watu wanaposaja majina yako inakata hiyo kamba ikondoke kila madhabahu ya shida wakati unapata kitu kidogo shida zinainuka katika jina la Yesu unakosa kuwa na kitu katika mikono yako kila roho ya kuteleza baba ninaachilia macho haitakuwa juu yako kila roho ya kuteleza katika jina la Yesu baba ninaachilia katika maisha yake hiyo ndoke toka kwa maisha yake 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 kila mizigo ya kuzukumiwa toka kwa maisha yake kila maneno ya kuongelewa kama waliomfunga katika jina la Yesu na ondoa juu yake katika jina la Yesu holy ghost Lord Jesus this woman i don't know but because today she has reached here imiku mali ulipita toka kanyaka baba alianzisha kitu kizuri leo hii wengine wanafurahia yeye mwenyewe hana ninazituma neno lako Mungu mwenye huruma watoto hawa Jehova eh Mungu uishiwe leo bwana ukamwokoa Asante kwa sababu wewe ni mwaminifu. Kila alama aliyowekewa aondolewe. Na nila maiko kwa mapeka yake baba ivunjike. Kila nira ivunjike ya uchawi ivunjike kwa zile leo. Asante bwana. In Jesus name I pray. Unajua ndiko inasema hivi Ukitoka na mtoto umetoroka umeenda Hiyo damu ni ya watu gani Ya uko si ndio So usipokata hiyo kamba ndio unaona bado nilikuwa nakwambia kuna kamba ya mkono ilikuwa inaonekana huko na huko Unapenda kwamba na that's why sisi wachungaji tuko hiyo ndio kazi yetu For that thing to be safe in your hands you need to disconnect it Na watu wengine ambao unapata mtu amekuchukua na ametupa amesema huyo mtoto hata sio wangu. Kwanza huyo ndio mzuri sana. Praise the living God. Amen. Sasa huyo hiyo maneno ambayo alitamuka ndio tutaenda na huyo mtoto. Sasa tunatumia hayo maneno. Na mtoto sasa anakuwa hawezi kuto. Na bure utasikianga mtoto anasumbukana anafika mahali anakusumbua anasema hata mimi hii boma sijui nini munionyeshe baba analeta vuruko kwa sababu kama bado iko huko. Tuna na kuti support for sometimes unasikia sasa ni yeye ndiye anaenda hata wamekutana na baba yake tarubu, wamekutana kakameka, wamekutana mahali fulani. Sasa huyu mzee mwenye ako hapa anakosa kusikia amani kwa sababu ulipokuja ulisema nilifukuzwa nikaambiwa hata huyu mtoto simtaki kwenda na huyu mtoto. Kwa nini sasa hivi? So I want to pray that every day whenever you encounter such a things see the men of god quickly to break every
every altar and every covenant in Jesus' name. Nataka niombe usawa wako. Bible inasema Mungu akamwambia Musa, "Huyu mtoto wa kwanza, huyu mwenye alitoa kwa ndugu yako, anaitwa nani?" Anaitwa Brian. Brian. Nataka niombe ombi juu ya Brian. Maana yeye ndio msaliwa wa kwanza katika tumbo la. Bible inasema Mungu atabariki uzao wa tumbo la. Na kupitia yeye atakaposimama mtoni. Hii mnyororo ya nyuma yote. Mambo itakuwa sawa. Ndiyo sababu tunataka tunaenda kuwa mwaka huu tutakuwa na ibada ya tena wasaliwa wa kwanza. Kwa ngapi walikumbuka tuliwahi kuwa na hiyo ibada ya wasaliwa wa kwanza? Kesi hiyo na First of all, tulikuwa na ibada hapo. Tukasema mtu yeyote aliyesaliwa kwa sehemu ya mikono. Ndio mikono yako. Sema Bwana Yesu. Mtoto wangu Brian. Mikono ni mwako. Maji alipo msaliwa wangu wa kwanza kila mateso kila uchawi kila maneno yanayofuata uzao wa tumbo langu na msimamisha mbele yako e Mungu fungua milango na madirisha kwa jina la Yesu kila alama mbaya maneno ya uchawi na yakanusha kwa jina la Yesu na yeyusha yale maneno na kanusha juu ya Brian katika jina la Yesu mali alipo baba zile tamba zinashika mtoto huyo maneno mabaya haitakoni vizu mtoto huyo baba mali alipo afundi kwenda damu ya Yesu katika jina la Yesu maana ukasema wazaliwa wa kwanza ni nguvu ya baba ya mama ndio Mungu huyu mtoto bwana na taa yake haitasimika asante bwana kwa jina la Yesu naomba na kwa mimi amen So the only thing Ewe ni mwaminifu asubuhi ya leo. Asante Jehova. Jina lako linapendeza. Jina lako linatosha. Falme wako uje na mapenzi yako yatimizwe. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Amen. Pigie Yesu mkafu mzima. Pata nafasi ya kukaza. Kwa jina la Yesu.